Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about one of my favorite features on the iPad, and that is using external displays through Display Manager to get a proper external display support. Now there's a couple of caveats to this. The first is that you need an M1 iPad, whether that be the iPad Pro or iPad Air, just has to have that M1 chip in there. The second caveat is that you need to have iOS 16 or later, if you're watching this at a later date. As of the time of this video, iOS or iPad OS 16 is in beta, so you would need to load that beta version on your iPad. Now, if your iPad is production, if it's a critical to your workflow, you probably don't wanna do that, but I will say I've had it on mine for a while now and I've not had any major issues. I have had app crashes here and there, but for the most part, it's been pretty solid. Now, once you get a supported version of iPadOS on a supported iPad, the rest is pretty easy. You do not need crazy expensive hardware. I've seen a lot of videos of people hooking it to Apple Studio displays or crazy expensive displays. I use it with a 1440p BenQ monitor and also an ultra wide monitor that I got for like 200 bucks at Black Friday last year. It's by Spectre. It's 3440 by 1440p and the iPad works fantastically with it. It fills the whole screen at that full resolution and works great. Now to get this going, all you need is that iPad with the M1 and you also need a keyboard dock. Hey, just a quick update. As I was editing this video, I realized saying keyboard dock didn't really make sense. What I'm saying is you just need a keyboard hook to the iPad. It can be a Bluetooth keyboard, a wired keyboard, keyboard case. Just needs to be a device that's recognized as a keyboard on the iPad. And yes, I have another Star Trek shirt on. You would be surprised how many freaking Star Trek shirts I have. But if you try to do this, without that keyboard dock, it's just gonna do the, the mirroring display like it used to. It's not gonna use the full uh, widescreen display. Once you have that keyboard dock, the only thing you're gonna need then is some way to get it to the monitor. Now, if you have a display that supports USB-C or Thunderbolt, you can use a cable to go right to that. If you only have a display that has HDMI or a display port, you can also get an adapter. You can just get a cable that has USB or Thunderbolt on one end and HDMI or DisplayPort on the other end. And that cable just goes from your iPad to the display. Now you will need to turn on Stage Manager for this to work, but that's super easy. You open your quick settings and you just toggle it on right in there. Once that's on, you can just plug that cable into your iPad, plug it into the display and it comes right up. It works really, really well. But the problem with just using a cable is that you're not charging your iPad or anything like that. Uh, this is good for short sessions, but if you want to do longer sessions, you can use a dock. I use a little CalDigit Soho dock. This works great. I actually got it for my MacBook Air, but it works fantastically with this iPad. This is how I use it most of the time because it charges up the iPad, it lets you use extra peripherals with it, and it turns it into basically a desktop computer. It works so well. Now, one of the things that I use this for quite a bit is LumaFusion. I use LumaFusion to do a lot of my videos. Now, sometimes I'll start the video on my iPad on LumaFusion, just sitting out on the porch or something, and I'll do just a rough edit. Then I'll export that through XML file and import it onto my computer and finish editing in DaVinci Resolve. What I've been doing lately is I started out on the uh, couch or whatever, wherever I am, and then if I need a bigger screen, I just come and I plug my iPad in and I have the full display, the application takes advantage of the full screen, and it's like using a, a desktop class app on this iPad with this full screen. It's a fantastic experience. Now the resizing and the positioning of the windows is a little bit weird. It's a little bit different than, you'd ex than you're used to on a desktop operating system. Uh, you can resize the windows, you can move them around, but there's set positions that the windows can go in so you can't really move them anywhere on the screen that you want. It's still very effective. You can still have multiple windows open and then you can have the applications go full screen. That's primarily how I use LumaFusion in that example that I gave. But you know, then with Stage Manager, you can have different groups. So I might have a group with LumaFusion, and then I'll have a group with Notion that I use for note taking, and a web browser open at the same time, and I can toggle between those very, very quickly and effectively. Like I said, this is still in beta, but it's actually been pretty solid for me. There have been a few hiccups, a few app crashes when using this, 
but for the most part, it's been very, very solid. I've actually been really happy with it, even though it's just in beta. If you're doing this as well, please let me know down in the comment section how you're using it. I really want to know how this is impacting people's workflow. I really believe that the iPad is just about at the point where people can ditch their other computers and use this one thin iPad as their desktop and primary mobile machine and uh, be very, very productive. There's video editors, there's image editors, music editors, office suites and now that you can use this external display and then even more so with universal control um, and sidecar i mean this thing is infinitely useful uh, so let me know how you're using yours now as usual if you have any questions or comments leave those down in the comment section if you found this video useful or informative please hit that thumbs up if you really liked it and want to see more make sure you're subscribed I'm, i have a lot more content uh, coming out. I have a bunch of stuff planned in Notion that I mentioned, and I hope to see you in those videos. Thanks so much for stopping by.